All right, folks, here's a, a quick lesson on zero and negative exponents. Okay, so what I want you to do with me is kind of walk with me through this. Look at the very top of this here. It says 3 exponent 4. Well, you know 3 exponent 4 means 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which I didn't write down here. But what I did put was the answer. 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 is 81. All right? Do the same thing, but this time instead of 3 exponent 4, do 3 exponent 3, which is 3 times 3 times 3. You get 27. Okay? 3 squared, or 3 to the power of 2, is 9. And 3 to the power of 1 is just 3. So this arrow here is reminding me that I have to ask a question at this point. I stop and ask a question, and here is the question. What are we dividing by each time? If you look at 81, 27, 9, and 3, what are we dividing by each time we do this? I guess we don't need that there anymore. Can you tell? Well, uh, let's see. 9 divided by 3, or 3 times what is 9? I guess you could say that. Well, we are dividing by 3 here, aren't we? 9 divided by 3 will give us 3. Does that work over here? 27 divided by 3, what would that give us? Well, that would give us 9. Look at that. 81 divided by 3. Well, if you don't trust me, just uh, turn on your handy-dandy calculator and just go 81 divided by 3. And sure enough, you get 27. Okay? So what you do is you say, okay, if we're dividing by 3 each time, what do I need? If I have 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, and then it goes negative 1, negative 2, there's some kind of pattern going on here. So if I'm dividing each one by 3, this one's got to be 3 divided by 3. Right? You take the 3 and divide by 3. And what do you get? You get 1. Okay? And sure enough, 3 to the exponent 0 is 1. Let's check it out on the calculator. Okay? 3 exponent 0 is 1. And sure enough, it works for anything. You can make a huge number. And if you make that to the exponent 0, you just get 1. Okay? So any number to the exponent 0 is just 1. All right, that's the first big lesson you have to know. Anything, anything to the exponent 0 is equal to 1. I'll even make a special looking 1 there just to make it official. Okay, anything to the exponent 0. But it doesn't stop there. The lesson that we're supposed to be doing is talking about zero exponents. Okay, well, we know, we know about that now. But what about negative exponents? Well, look down. We have a negative 1 here. Well, guess what? The pattern just keeps going. So if 3 to the exponent 0 is 1, then if, and if we're just dividing by 3 each time we go along here, we just keep dividing by 3, then 3 to the exponent negative 1 must be 1 over 3. Why is that? Because it's 1 divided by 3. Okay? And 1 divided by 3. Well, you don't have to go any further, but basically that is, that is what 3 to the exponent 1 is. 1 over 3. Okay? And if you took 1 over 3 and you divided by 3 again, that is what would be the answer for 3 to the exponent negative 2. So you'd have 1 over 3 divided by 1 over 3, or sorry, divided by 3. Okay, so 1 over 3 divided by 3. Okay, and what is that? Well, just remember that when you divide, you might forget this, and I understand if you forget it. When you divide, what you do is you really take the reciprocal, or you flip this part right here, and you multiply, okay? So you multiply by the reciprocal. And 3 is the same thing as 3 over 1. And you, what you do is you flip it, take the reciprocal, and multiply. So look what you get. 1 over 3 times 1 over 3 is 1 over 9. 
because you multiply it across the top, you multiply it across the bottom, you get 1 over 9. Okay, so the bottom line is is that 3 squared is really 1 over 9. And what I want you to notice here, there's something that I want you to notice, and I, I'm going to zoom in on this as with the, uh, the recording software, um, is that what you do when you have a negative exponent. 1 over 3 is the same thing as 1 over 3 to the 1. Okay? And 1 over 9 is really the same thing as 1 over 3 squared. It is, right? Because 3 times 3 is 9. So look over here. Negative 2, and here's a positive 2 on the bottom. Okay? So there's a rule that if you have a negative exponent, what you can do is take this, take this whole power right here, move it to the bottom. Okay, so you move the whole thing to the bottom underneath. Okay, you flip it. Do take the reciprocal of it, if you will, and make the negative positive. Okay, <laughs> so you really have one over three squared. Okay, so let's see. Do I have some examples here? Well, I've got some examples, but you already know how to do zero exponents. It's the easiest thing. 251 to the exponent 0 is 1. 72 to the exponent 0 is 1. So that's all pretty easy. What we really want is we want to do these kinds of questions right now. 4 to the negative 2. Well, 4 to the negative 2. Remember, you take the reciprocal of it, you just put 1 over 4, and the sign right here changes of the exponent. The sign of the exponent changes to positive. And as you do a bunch of these, it starts to get really easy. You're like, okay, I just put a 1 on top, and I put this in the denominator, and a positive exponent, and I'm done. If you wanted to, you could, you could say it's really 1 over 16. But that's, uh, that's a step that you might not need to do. We just wanted to simplify this. Okay? Same with this one. So 2 to the negative 3, we really have just 1 over 2 cubed. And so that, we've just basically simplified this. Okay? we wrote our answer, we simplified with a positive exponent. Okay, I'm just curious what this arrow is talking about. Oh, okay. So when you do your worksheet, it might ask you to evaluate, and that means to find the exact answer. Okay, so you find the exact answer, like 1 over 16, and you might even just take your calculator and, you know, divide it, you'll get an ugly decimal. But, um, to simplify is just to show it in simplified form like this. Okay? So I had I just had that there to remind me. Okay? Um, it looks like here's a few more little questions we can look at. Um, negative exponents. Okay. So we have negative 4 to the negative 1. Well, this is how we could deal with that. Remember, you just put 1 over whatever you have here, negative 4, and that one right here, the exponent, becomes positive. You don't have to even write that one there because any any number has a one there if you don't say any exponent at all. There's just an invisible one up there. Okay, now in a textbook it wouldn't give you this as the final answer because textbooks and the way that mathematicians like to write these numbers, they like to put the negative out in the front and just have negative one quarter or negative one over four. That negative sign doesn't need to stay in the bottom, okay? Um, as you know, an, a positive divided by a negative is still negative, so you can just leave that negative sign in front, okay? Now look over here, this question, we've got one over three to the negative two. Just so you're aware, this kind of question here, it, you're probably thinking, well, what do I do if it's already in the denominator? Well, remember what I said before, you just you flip it or you take the reciprocal of the of this and you make the exponent positive. So instead of this being in the denominator, you're going to bring it up to the top and make the exponent positive right there. You could put it over 1 if you wanted, but you don't have to. Okay, so it would just be 3 squared. That would be the answer. You bring this to the top and you would make it negative. I mean, sorry, make the negative into the positive. Okay, 3 squared. And as we know, that's 9, but that's uh, it's up to you if you want to write that. Do you want to verify that on a calculator right now, just for fun? Um, let's do it. Okay, so 1 over 3 
to the negative 2. Let's see what it gives us. 9. And that's a pretty confusing way of writing it there, isn't it? But now you can look at this and say, ah, now I know why it's 9, because we just rearranged it the way we did. Okay, so hopefully that now makes more sense. Okay, another type of question right here. 1 third to the negative 2. Well, there's two ways to do this kind of thing. You can, if you want to, hmm, what's the quickest way? The quickest way would be to say, okay, flip everything in here. So just flip it. And then square. Okay, which is really just 3 squared. And sure enough, you get 9 again. That's a quick way to do it. Uh, another way is to say, well, there's a rule, and it's kind of like that power of a power rule before. But that negative 2 right here, it goes to meet everybody inside the bracket. It goes to meet everybody. Okay, so it's going to meet the 1, and it goes to the 3 as well. Okay, some, some teachers call this shower power because it goes there and it also goes there. It's like it's showering on everybody. Okay, now you remember the rule. When there's a negative exponent, you take what's on the top, you move it to the bottom. So let's do that. I'm going to take this one, 1 to the negative 2 and make it 1 squared. Then you take the 3 to the negative 2 and move it to the top and make that squared. Okay, and then if you wanted to, you could just say, well, that's like 3 squared is just 9 because 3 times 3 is 9, and 1 times 1 is just 1. 9 divided by 1, well, it's just 9. Okay? You do not need to do it the way I just did it there. I just wanted to show you that there's different ways of doing this. Okay?